Shakiri Richardson will not get the opportunity to run under the dazzling lights and stars of the Tokyo Olympic Games. And as such, she's now left to ponder on what could have been. Interestingly, she's now getting an opportunity to hit the reset button and to go forward and run in the Prefontaine Classic. Welcome Sports Nation to Sports DTM, the sports channel where we call sports down the middle. You can expect the latest in sports news, views and reviews from our resident analysts. No sports topic is too controversial and no team or player is above criticism. So just smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on our balanced offering of riveting sports content. And don't forget to like, share and leave a comment below. Welcome to Sports DTM. Greetings Sports DTM fans and welcome to another episode of Sports Down the Middle, the channel of undiluted sports content. US track star Shakira Richardson will return to the track this time in the Prefontaine Classic in August in which she will run 100 and 200 meters. But before we get into the details, we see that you have been watching and liking our videos we also want you to be part of the Sports DTM family by clicking that subscription button. If that button is still red, it simply means you have not yet subscribed. So, where are we, Pan? Click the button and welcome to the Sports DTM family. Fans, US track star Shakira Richardson will return to the track this time in the Prefontaine Classic in august this will be held on august 21 and this will likely be her first race since she was suspended for one month for a positive test for weed at the olympic trials and was subsequently suspended and will miss the tokyo games shakira's appearance at the diamond league meet should be no surprise they say because the meet is sponsored by nike which also sponsors her. Meet organizers will likely fill the rest of the field with medalists from the Olympics, allowing fans to see how she would have stocked up against them at the global competition. The full field is not yet announced, but Shakira is saying that she is pretty excited and I'm looking forward to running fast and putting on a show. Adrian, talk to me. What's your thoughts on Shakiri's return to the track? Shakiri Richardson will not get the opportunity to run under the dazzling lights and stars of the Tokyo Olympic Games. As you are aware, she would have failed in her quest to make the US Olympic team and as such, she is now left to ponder on what could have been. Interestingly, She's now getting an opportunity to hit the reset button and to go forward and run in the Prefontaine Classic. What we didn't know is that that button would take her back to the very track in which she received a positive test. I don't know who could have thought of this thing. What if lightning strikes twice? What if it happened in June and then happens again in August. Is this a good idea? Only time will tell. But we hope that for Shakiri's sake that she will come out of this one looking good. It is the same place, the same track. And we hope that on this occasion there will be a different result. This is Sophia Harris, CEO and founder of Lao Global Consulting, and you're watching Sports DTM. Sports down the middle for all that's exciting in local sports. Adrian, the question I want you to answer for me as well is, how long does the weed stay in your system? And by no means are we any medical practitioners or any expert in the field of medicine here, but how long do we stay in your system? That more I answer. 
there are some studies that show that THC, the component that is the banned substance associated with marijuana, can lodge sometimes up to hours as well as up to 90 days depending on the user and the frequency of use. Thank you for that Adrian. And if we were to look at the history of the Prefontaine Classic, or rather the last classic, just to determine the, the caliber of athletes that normally turn up, for the 100 meters we had Marie Ose Talu, Alia Hobbs, Tina Daniels, Shakiri Richardson herself, Michelle Lee Hai, English Gardner, Tori Bowie, Shelly and Fraser Price, and Munjinga Kambunji for the 100 meters. And over 200 meters, we had Blessing Okegbari, Elaine Thompson Era, Dana Asher Smith, Salwa Ed Nasa, Jenna Prandini, Daphne Schiffers, Brittany Brown, Kyra Jefferson, and Yvette Lalova. So, looking at the lineup for both the 100 and 200 meters, it is clear that the Prefontaine Classic normally brings out the best of the best in track and field. So therefore, the Prefontaine Classic for August 21 will be a showstopper. We already know that Shakira Richardson will be there. And judging from the lineup from the last one, there might be the Olympic champion, there might be the Olympic silver medalist, there might be everybody who went to the Olympic finals for 100 and 200 meters at this Prefontaine Classic. Fans out there, Shakira Richardson is back. I am back. I am looking to run fast and put on a show. Is her message to you, her fans. What's your thoughts on her return or her planned return? Or what time you think she's going to run? What are you looking forward to? Will there be a record? Will there be a world record? Leave your comments in the comment section below. And always remember to like, to share, and to subscribe. This has been another episode of Sports Down the Middle. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell all of them friends to come and join the Sports DTM family. Be blessed.